Hello Internet, RD Lady here. In the previous video I have shown how to do the smoothing and painting of the T-800 model from the Terminator movie series. Now in this video I'm gonna show how to install the electronic parts. And this part consists of installing LED lights that will illuminate his eyes, the installation of a battery holder, and the installation of a button or a switch that will be able to turn on and turn off the lights. And let's start with a very simple thing. Let's take one of these Ethernet cables or RJ45. So I'm extracting from this cable two solid color wires and two striped wires. Internally these wires are exactly the same. I'm just extracting different colors to keep things organized. So these are the wires that will make the connection between the LED lights, the on off button and the batteries. And for keeping things organized I'm gonna regard these striped wires as positive and the solid blue and orange wires as negative. For the battery holder things are a little bit different. The red wire is positive and the black wire is negative. It's very important to know these polarities otherwise you're gonna do an incorrect installation and the LED lights are not going to work. And for the LED light the longest pin is positive and the shortest pin is negative. And if you're not sure about the polarity of the LED lights you can just do this quick test that I'm showing here. So I'm gonna continue here by stripping the tips of these wires. I'm gonna also trim a little bit the legs of these LED lights, but I'll keep the proportion of length. Otherwise, I'm gonna forget which side is positive or negative. I'm just trimming them a little bit so they are easier to be inserted inside the eyes of the 3D printed model. Now I'm gonna take one of these striped wires and I'm gonna solder it to the longest pin of the LED light. And just reminding you that the longest pin or the longest connector is the positive one. For soldering, I'm using a soldering iron of 40 watts. All the materials and tools that I'm using here are listed in the description of this video as well. I'm gonna also post in the description of this video some links to the websites where I bought these materials and tools. Now I'm gonna take the solid color wire and I'm gonna solder it to the shortest pin of the LED light, which is the negative connector. After you finish soldering the wires to the LED light, it should look more or less like this. Now let's repeat the same thing for the other LED light. Let's solder the striped wire to the longest pin of the LED light and the solid color wire to the shortest pin of the LED light. I'm gonna share a little schematic drawing of how these components are all connected together so it will be easier for you to understand and follow these instructions. After you finish soldering all the wires to the LED lights, they should look like this. Now I'm gonna take an insulating tape and I'm gonna cover all these exposed areas. This is just to avoid any chances of having an accident by making these two sides a negative and positive connect together, which would cause a short circuit, just for being safe. So I'm gonna protect these exposed areas for both LED lights. After that, let's start to insert the LED lights into the T800 model. I'm gonna start by inserting the wires up to a point where I can pull them from below. Be careful to not pull too much, otherwise LED lights are gonna be inserted inside the model and it's gonna be difficult to take them out. For now, we can leave the LED lights falling out like that. Now I'm gonna trim out some of the extra length of the striped wires. I'm gonna twist them to put them together and I'm gonna make their strip tips pass through this hole in one of the pins of the on off button. After that I'm gonna do some final twists to attach very well the wires to the pin of the on off button and I'm gonna solder them together. I'll be showing on the top of the screen a little diagram that will help you to understand how I'm soldering all these wires. This base with helping hands that hold things for me so I can solder them is very useful and very cheap so I recommend it. I'm gonna leave a link to the website where I bought it from in the description of this video. In the meantime you can go ahead and start inserting the battery holder into the base. I'm gonna bend these wires a little bit so they can come out from the hole in the top of the base more easily. And then it's simple, you just have to push the battery holder until the wires come out from the top. I'm gonna go ahead and trim out some extra length of these wires and I'm gonna strip their tips. Now I'm gonna take the red wire from the battery holder and I'm gonna attach the uncovered tip to the remaining pin of the on-off button. And now you just have to solder them together. 
just reminding that the red wire is the positive one. Our positive side is done, now let's work on the negative side of the wiring. I'm gonna start by trimming out the exceeding amounts of wires and stripping their tips. I'm gonna take the solid colored wires, the blue and the orange, I'm gonna twist them together and after that I'm gonna twist them together with the black wire. So now I'm gonna have all the negative wires connected. Don't forget to give a look to this little diagram that I'm showing to make sure that you are making all the correct connections. And for finishing this connection, I just need to solder these wires together. And once again, just for safety, I'm gonna take this insulating tape and I'm gonna cover all the parts of the wires that I exposed. And now for a final test, let's assemble everything and let's press the button a few times to see if it will turn on and off the LED lights. Just reminding if you have questions about the printing process, the smoothing and the painting, I have explained about this in the previous video. So if this is the first video that you are watching, don't forget to check the previous video, the part 1, so there you can learn more about the printing and the finishing process. Before inserting the LED lights into the eyes of our T800 model, I usually add a little bit of insulating tape around the sides of the LED lights, so the lights don't get too spread out. But this step is optional, it depends on the final effect that you want to have. And for inserting the LED lights into the eyes, you just have to push them very slowly and carefully for not pushing them too much. Before gluing the head to the base, it's always good to do some additional tests to make sure that everything is working well. And the installation of all the electronic components of our model is complete. Now let's take any of those instant glues and let's glue the head to the base. Be careful to not use too much glue because this can harm the metallic look of your model. After applying the glue, let's put these parts together and let's apply a little bit of pressure for a few seconds. And let's leave it drying for a few minutes. Be careful to not glue your fingers. And for finishing, we just need to take the lid and attach it to the base using these small screws. Before closing it, don't forget to insert the batteries. And that's it, our model is complete. So I'll just show some additional tests that I did and I'll show how the final model looks like after all this finishing work. I hope this video was useful for you, don't forget to leave a like and to subscribe for receiving notifications on new videos posted in this channel. I see you next time, bye bye!